let us try to understand the first algorithm in decision tree that is Hunt's algorithm. So in this video, I am going to explain you the data set that we are going to use and in the next video following to it, we are going to see the example for it. So let us try to understand the data set first. So this data set is about ITR. People filing the ITR need to be categorized into two different classes. So people while filing the ITR are cheating or not cheating. That is nothing but what is we expect from the model to return. Okay. Yeah. So based on certain attributes, we are going to take that decision. So we have three different attributes over here. So first one is refund. Second one is match status, right? And these two columns are called as categorical columns. Now why they call this categorical columns? Because they have categories in it. For example, refund is divided into two different categories. That is either refund equals to yes or no. Again, marriage status is defined to three different categories. That is single, married, and divorced. And uh, taxable income, it is not defined in the category, but it is a continuous column. So we call it as a continuous column. And the last column that is cheat, it is nothing but the output class. Or we can also call it as an output label. So label or class, that is what we call it. Which we are going to get the output. So we are going to build up a model using Hunt's algorithm and that model is going to return as the class or label. Okay. Okay. That's all for this video. We're going to see the example in the next video.